Philippine national football team is indeed one of the rising teams in Asian football. After a remarkable campaign from 2015 to 2018, in which the national team went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of Uzbekistan and North Korea, they have booked themselves in their first ever appearance in the 2019 AFC Asian Cup after topping their group against two teams of the same tier in Tajikistan and Yemen and bagging a 4-1 aggregate against Nepal. Now, for a country with the 12th largest population in the world, a first-time entry into a continental football competition is not really an impressive feat compared to countries of the same size. But for a country as football, more like a third or fourth option behind basketball, boxing, and maybe volleyball, this both a milestone and result of past improvement in the federation. However, the national team competed in the highest level of Asian football is not getting any younger. Out of the 23 men who arrived in the UAE for the tournament, 30 of them will be 30 years old or more by the end of 2021. In fact, two of the players who are in the lineup, namely the brothers James and Phil Young Husband, are both retired from competitive football and two others are in the wrong side of 30. Alvaro Silva is 37 by the end of 2021 and Captain Stefan Schrock turned 35 in August 21. The Ascals, as they are more commonly known, are indeed need more younger and fresher legs coming in the next series of campaigns to further improve the team coming in the next few years. Aside from younger boys who came for the local collegiate leagues and ventured into pro football like Harvey Gayoso and Martiano and naturalization candidate Yen Maranyon, there are still more Filipinos born or raised abroad who can be potential national team members. We are now looking for 8 possible recruits from outside the Philippines for the national team in the upcoming years. To be able to feature in the list, Moan must have a Filipino ancestry, hasn't been capped by any other senior national team, and has played in at the second tier of professional league football. We will not go into feature those who were featured in a former squad list but did not receive any appearances so players like Diego Bardanka and Jesse Coran will not be present. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe if you are new, and click the notification bell button. Anyway, here are the 8 possible recruits for the Philippine national football team. Number 8. Novin Bowman the Philippines already has a handful of quality goalkeepers to choose from, starting with Birmingham City's Neil Etheridge and Ben Diesel's Kevin Ray Mendoza, and tied League One's Michael Fultz guard and Patrick Dato. With young keepers in the mix like Kendry Balobo, Quincy Camerad, and Anthony Pintos in the mix, why not add another one? Novin Bowman has over 70 caps for various third team sides while being loaded by mother club FC Zurich, itself a reputable Swiss Super League club. He has only registered two appearances for Zurich as a third choice keeper, with one of his games being against FC Basel, where the first team was quarantined due to testing positive for the virus. A young man with quick reflexes and reaction when the ball is going to his direction, the 25 year old has been on the Swiss Football Federation's radar as well, getting 22 caps from under 15 to under 20 teams. Having Bowman in the rotation will be a big help for the Ascals, especially with Etheridge and Holtzgaard not getting any younger at 30 years or above. Number 7. Patrick Metcalf The midfield area are one of the main strengths of the Ascals, as well as one of the younger areas with only captain Stefan Schrock and Miguel Tanton in their 30s. Hibernian product Eric Galiantes and Erzge Birgi Aos John Patrick Strauss might headline the Ascals midfield in the future and the addition of Patrick Metcalf will make the department even better. The 22-year-old Filipino-Canadian has been part of the Vancouver White Cups since 2016 and has since seen some playing time in the MLS side for the 2020 season. He has appeared 7 times, including one for the MLS back tournament, but with the White Cups midfield stack, he might be one of the candidates for a loan move to other teams in the US or in the Canadian League. Metcalf has been named in the under-23 side for the Canadian national team's provisional squad but having no senior cap means good news for the Philippines as the midfielder can also play in the right flank as a winger or defender. Number 6. Aidan Daniels Having another midfield in the list means that the Ascals may have a future plethora of options for the said department. And we have here another Filipino-Canadian in the radar now playing for USL Championship side Colorado Springs Switchbacks. Aidan Daniels qualifies for having Filipino mother but can also represent Canada or South Africa as he was born in Ontario with his dad being from Johannesburg. Like Metcalf, Daniels also named in the under-23 side for the Canadian national team for the Olympic qualifying tournament. But in contrast to the White Cups midfielder, Daniels is more of an attacking option, being deployed as a right midfielder, an attacking midfielder or even a forward. 
After appearances for Toronto's FC's reserve squad, Daniels also played one game for the Canadian side in the MLS before suiting a poor Ottawa Fury and eventually the switchbacks. He made 16 appearances last season with 3 goals in his name. Number 5. Ange Andino From two midfielders from Canada, we will now head to Israel as we will next feature a defender which can help the Ascals on the defensive end, especially with Alvaro Silva going to hang his boots in the next 5 years or so. Ange Andino, a 19-year-old defender, has played 8 games for Hapoel Acre of Legal Limit, the second tier of Israel Football League Pyramid, on loan from Israel Premier League side Maccabi Haifa. He is yet to score a goal for the Israeli side, but the young guy can operate in the left flank either as a defender or a winger. He is set to return to Haifa in July after the end of his one-year loan spell. Born in Israel from parents sailing from the Philippines and Congo, Andino can represent the three national teams. But with the young and versatile player in the 9 year old, the Ascal should be the phone call to Maccabi Haifa right away. Number 4. Jefferson Tabinas From the Middle East, we will now arrive in the Far East, as the next pair in our watch is set to play in the second tier of J-League, one of the more elite second tier leagues in the Asian Confederation. Jefferson Tabinas has been long on the radar for the Philippine Ascals, as he can also upgrade the center back position while also has the option to be deployed as a left back. Tabinas has appeared in 20 games last season for G3 league side Gamba Osaka U23 while being on loan from Kawasaki Frontal. Tabinas also has a younger brother Paul Bismarck who played for Aomori Yamada High School's football team and also expresses interest in playing for the Philippines. Age only 22, the Filipino Ghanaian Japan board defender is set to join Mito Hall Hack of the G2 League in February on a free transfer after years of being with Kawasaki Frontal and Loan. Number 3, Jose Angel Carrillo. The Spanish league system has produced several Ascals through the years, from Angel and Luis Gerardo, Alvaro Silva, and Carly Timurga to name a few. Adding Jose Carrillo will improve the attack line of the Philippine football team especially on his most useful position right winger. The Filipino Spanish with roots from his great friend father being a Filipino has played significant football in the second and third tier football teams in Spain, from the reserve squad of Murcia and Sevilla, and even spent a few months with Israeli premier side Hapoel Beersheva. Now he is signed to Lugo of La Liga 2 and now valued at 300,000 euros. Since coming in the Galicia Bay squad, Carrillo has earned 18 caps in the late season scoring two goals in the process along with an appearance in the Copa del Rey with 2-1 win over fourth-tier side Atletico Pulpileño. Number 2, Jesper Naiho. From Galicia, we have to fly once more to Europe, this time to the Nordic city of Stockholm, where a Filipino-Swedish player is slowly making his name into the Altsbenskan with your garden Saif. Jesper Nyholm, whose mother is a Filipino, is playing significant competitive football in Sweden from 2015 when Dalkerd signed him on a free transfer from fourth tier side Gamla Uppsala before being snagged by AIK in 2017 for 200,000 euros. However, a horrible injury ended his three year stint in AIK and sidelined him for six months before being signed by another Stockholm side in Your Gardens. Age just 27, Nyholm appeared in 12 games for Your Gardens, including one in which he started in a 2-0 defeat to Ferenc Barros in the UEFA Champions League qualifiers. Nyholm has waited his chance for Sweden, but as his call-up is yet to be seen for Dagult, he will be a perfect addition to the Filipino backline. Honorable Mentions As always, we have to bring some names in which the Ascals can pick up some of which are playing in the third or lower leagues in various countries, have been called up in an unofficial fixture, while others are good to be included but just did not crack my top 8. Defender Kadin Chu and midfielder Michael Baldissimo, both 22, are no starters in the Canadian Premier League side Pacific FC, both of them capped by Canada's youth teams in the past, while Phil Australia Jesse Curran, now playing for Thai league side Nako Rachisima, played an unofficial friendly for the Philippines against China Cornbill. Diego Bardanca, who received a call-up as well, hasn't been a squad after 2020 after appearing 7 times for Slovenian side Andy Goritza. Kike Gomez is starting forward in Gibraltar side Lincoln Red Imps, and Pancho Fernandez hasn't been in the club since last featuring on Chilean side Deportes La Serena. Leo Matados, whom the website Transfer Market said signed for 30-year side Locomotive Mesdra, played as an attacker or a wingman, 
Raphael Obermeier is playing for German third-year side 1 FC Magdeburg and Michael Kemp to receive a call-up but has yet to receive a cap from the Ascals and is now playing second-tier football for Swiss club Neuchatel Samax. 22-year-old Justin Newman and Marcel Schreier, 19-year-old Oliver Bayas, and 21-year-old Leo Engels is playing in the lower leagues in Germany, while AC Milan's Paulo Nicola Perez, Rotway's Frankfurt's C. Pilsinger, Ars GF Sebastian Barak, and Bayern's Angelo Brockner are yet to turn 19 and play senior team football. Andy Alban is meanwhile play portier football for SB Donau. 23-year-old Christopher Reyes is in Iceland's second tier league. 22-year-old Alison Kakai is in Benfica de Macau. Cameron Royo is in 5th tier German side SC Victoria 06 Grisheim. Oscar Kikonen is in 3rd tier Finnish side Pepo La Pedranta. And Gian Magno is in US NCAA Division 1 for Loyola Chicago. In Japan, Asahi Masuyama is in Visa Kobe for the time being after a one year loan to Avispa Pukuoka. 27 year old Yuji Takahashi is in Kashiwa Rizol. And 27 year old forward Paolo Junichi Tanaka will leave for Matsumoto Yamaga after 69 games with Renofa Yamaguchi with 6 goals and 7 assists. Anyhow, here's our last pick for the bunch. Number 1, Jared Holtman. Despite news surrounding Holtman's rather less interest in playing for the Philippines due to distance traveled, he's still our pick for the bunch for this list. When you have played competitive top tier football in Germany, that will be an instant waiter for scouts in the Philippines to get a quality player for the side. Holtman, aged just 25 as of this video, has played 50 Bundesliga games both for Mainz 05 and SC Paderborn, and has tallied 3 goals and 2 assists in his name. He also made a mark in the German second tier, bagging 4 goals and 8 assists, most from his stint at Eintracht Braunschweig. A player who has both the capability to create his own chances and as well play in most positions, especially in the left side, Holtman is now on a 3-year deal with BFL Bochum, in which his latest goal came in the 66th minute of a DFB Pokal win against his former club Mainz. After his stint in Paderborn and seeing the Filipinos improve results from 2019, Holtman reconsiders playing for the Ascals who needed a player of his standards. So that's it for our video. Make sure to hit like and subscribe to this channel for more of this content. Thanks for watching. This is Drew Corner and this is a wrap.